Welcome to the Arbinger of Doom. Welcome to the Misinformation Tower. Welcome to Lies, Scandals and all other areas. The door is open once more to the world of Inside Number 9. This is the Owl Knows Best. This is the series now officially been released, but this is the series on the third channel, The Weird Side, where I talk about all things Inside my own, Number 9, review my favourite episodes and even make my own episodes, fan episodes. Do you think before we go any further? If the audio sounds off in this video, one, I'm still going to to use this new camera, and two, if it looks overexposed at any point, I'm still going to to use this camera because there isn't a specific button that says ISO, for instance, if you're into your technical words. Today, uh, we are reviewing the film, as in the mini films, is what we're going to call them, but the episode. 3x3, three three, that was aired as the On The Bosses tribute episode, but then got spinned and turned into a 3x3. Three 3x3 three. Three three does not star Rishi Smith or Steve Pemberton for that exact reason. It's an episode that only stars Lee Mack, famously, and the rest of them are well-known, um, not well-known, but up-and-coming actors that you will probably find will appear in more television and you'll say, oh I recognise them, oh I recognise them, oh I recognise them and you'll go, mm, yes, and it'll all make more perfect sense. The other aspect that we want you to think about when thinking about 3x3 three three is, was this make an actual good quiz show and has Reese Shearsmith decided to try and pilot it out? Apart from the twist at the end, I think it's a fantastic concept. Well done, Lee Mack. <laughs> and the reason why they gave it to Lee Mack, because at that time, and still now, he is producing, not producing, but presenting the ITV um, quiz show, The 1% Club, that is also in France, America, Australia, and many other countries. So, Lee Mack is the perfect person for the job. The episode itself, plays out like a proper quiz show. The characters, you, if you didn't know it was Inside Number 9, which is how I showed it to my dad, I said, oh, close your eyes, press play, fast forward through the bits that were Inside Number 9, and then press play, and then he watched it, and went, I don't like this stuff, I didn't realise at the end it was Inside Number 9, because then he'd realise that the twist at the end meant that it was Inside Number 9, and it was a quiz show to begin with, so, you can fool people with thinking it's a question, which is perfect. That's what you want from this. You want to know that you can fool your audience into thinking it's one thing than another if they've just turned it on. Unless, unless they've looked at the title that's on the TV listing, then they'll be fooled nonetheless. The ups and downs, the uh, ins and outs of this episode is my favourite bit is definitely Lee Mack. He's my favourite bit of the whole episode, right? He does not give the game away that he's acting as himself here. He just plays it like he does the One Percent Club because he's fantastic in the One Percent Club because the One Percent Club is fantastic. And I've got to admit, I, I do love a quiz show, and I've got a YouTube channel called um, TV Around the World, and I will be talking a lot about the international versions of quiz shows in the upcoming months and days. So my excitement. When watching this, I watched it twice, which once for my own and once showing my dad. And obviously, I think that the episode itself deserves a nine, a nine out of nine. And like a lot of these deserve nine out of nine. So there's a few that uh, I'm not too keen on, and I will review them in the not too keen category once I've reviewed all my favourite episodes. And so far, we're on track to do that. I think that this said. What it needs, they said, quiz shows are really popular. Here's what you do if you're trying to trick your audience into thinking that it's a sitcom. I mean, a, a, a quiz show. And it's actually just a regular episode of an anthology series. And it just becomes better and better and better. The more you watch it, the more you go, ah. Oh. And the more, the more you actually believe. And it should have been shown on... Um, Goggle box. So they should have said to him, We're not going to tell you what the name of the program is. You're going to watch this program, 3x3, three three, which is 9, 
three times three, I think. Yeah, there's nine. I think I think the by is just the reference to be and the why is the reference to that. But the three by three um should have been played to Gogglebox and Gogglebox should have reacted to it. Because that would have helped stun the fact that is this quiz actually answerable? As in, can the general public who can the people that don't know that it's an episode on the Number nine, can they actually play along with this as an actual quiz show? Because then that would um, help show the point that this is a good, faithful recreation of your standard um, quiz show. And so it says, right, so we're trying to recreate a sketch show, I mean, um, a quiz show, and we need. To make sure they're authentic. We've got someone that actually hosts a quiz show. But we need to make sure the quizzes, the questions and everything are a lot more... What's the word for it? A lot more authentic. And I think that that would... That works to its advantage having Lee Mac on board for that reason. But I think that... There's nothing wrong with it. The twist at the end, which I won't spoil. I'll never spoil. Just perfectly... Like, rolled in, because when you saw the credits, or when you saw the whole thing fall apart and that, you just knew it's worked so amazingly. So, there you have it. That's my review of 3x3. What more will we be reviewing next? Will it be 12 Days of the Christina? Did I actually think that was the best episode ever? No. Because the best episode ever I've already reviewed. So anyway guys, thank you guys for watching. Bye! You're going to cry, cry tears of laughter Your funny bone can never break in two Misery might let you win